I think the single most important thing that we have to remember if we're going to regulate the internet is that startups don't have a voice in government. Startups are not uh, represented by lobbyists in Brussels or in the national capitals. Startups are, you know, one person hiring two of her friends to, you know, start a new business. And that's where the economic growth comes from. 100% of the economic growth comes from startups and sort of small and medium-sized companies. Big companies, you know, do mergers and acquisitions, they do layoffs, they discontinue products, they uh, merge things together. All of that is is effectively negative growth. Um, so we've got to protect startups. And anything that lobbyists for incumbent monopolies are there advocating for is likely to be antagonistic to the interests of the startups that are the ones that are producing the things that people want and producing the innovation and producing the jobs and producing the economic growth. So as a regulator, when you see a lobbyist coming in and the lobbyist is advocating for the interests of, you know, the incumbent telco, probably you want to be doing the opposite yet. That's the voice you're hearing. So that's the problem is if we're going to regulate the internet, we need to avoid regulatory capture. And most internet regulators are either captured at this point or are struggling to avoid it. And we've got to bolster their defenses against that. We have to pay more attention to how we keep internet regulation from being captured by incumbents.